This morning I was tormented by a monstrous migraine, which was quite unexpected, because usually it came in the late afternoon, gradually intensifying and forcing me, like a vampire, to hide in the dark. Although, perhaps, it was somehow provoked by the amount of alcohol I drank yesterday. For me, as for many ordinary office rats, not a single Friday has long been complete without a bottle of something strong. So, complaining about my age, remembering with longing the time when, regardless of the amount of alcohol I drank, I felt great in the morning, except that I was thirsty, I diluted two aspirin tablets in a glass and drank it without hesitation. It is unlikely, of course, he will help me, but it's better than nothing. Having recovered a little and looking around, I noticed that the room was quite dark and cool, which was a pleasant surprise after the long suffocating June heat. I wonder what time it is, I thought, trying to find a mobile phone. After a couple of minutes of fruitless searching, I realized that it was not worth it. In any case, today is Saturday, which means I'm not in a hurry. For some reason, I didn't feel like eating, in general, I also didn't want to drink, so I turned on the computer and opened Instagram, scrolling through the tape a little. Nothing interesting, I have already seen all this many times, people have finally run out of imagination. Therefore, I decided to write to my best friend Annette, to find out how she is after yesterday. Smiling, I began texting her. Well, are you alive? Annette never answered, so I went to the bathroom, my head was not passing, and I hoped that a cold shower would help me. I turned the tap back and forth, nothing. Well, great, they turned off the water. I still didn't feel like eating, but since food sometimes relieves migraines, I went to the kitchen. In the refrigerator, as they say, the mouse hung itself. It's not that I'm a bad housewife, just lately. What's up lately? I thought for a few seconds, my memory seemed to be turned off. What was I thinking about now? Okay. Looks like I need to go to the store to get something to eat. I quickly put on shorts and a t-shirt, grabbed my wallet and headed for the door. What is it? I looked in shock to where my entire conscious life was at the door to the entrance. But she was not there, a bare wall stretched from corner to corner of the corridor. Like she's always been here. The brain refused to perceive what was happening, perhaps only this helped me not to go crazy on the spot. With growing horror, I felt every centimeter of the damn wall. She was absolutely real, I didn't fancy it. This is a dream calmly ascertained my awakened consciousness. I'll wake up now. I pinched my arm a couple of times, patted my cheeks, nothing. Window, exclaimed a thought voice. I rushed to the kitchen and flung open the curtain. Outside the window was pitch darkness. No flashlights, no car headlights, no single source of light. I tried to open the window, to no avail, it would not budge. In a panic, I grabbed a chair and threw it out the window with all my might. It shattered into pieces, and the chair silently sank into darkness. I went back to the window and began to listen. Nothing, absolutely. This silence seemed not only to exist on its own, but also to draw all sounds into itself, like some kind of black hole. I looked around and saw a box of matches. She lit one and threw it into the darkness. The match flew silently, the flame wavered a couple of times and went out. A cold wave of despair rose up in me, I grabbed the kettle and threw it out the window, listening, trying to hear it land. It took about five minutes before I realized that I was still standing listening, and this is just ridiculous, I won't hear anything. Leaning against the wall by the window, I slid down it exhaustively to the floor and seemed to pass out. I don't know how much time has passed but I was awakened by the sudden thought that I had completely forgotten about the phone. I can call someone, after all, I have the internet, I can call for help through Instagram, write to a friend. I found the phone under the table and was not even surprised to see that it did not catch. There was a computer left, because I already wrote to Annette in the morning, I'll just write that I'm stuck. Where? Exclamation mark. Where am I? Before that, all my thoughts were focused on how I could get out. But now I'm wondering where I want to get out. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? And why does this place look exactly like my apartment? 
It was only now that I seriously realized the unreality of what was happening. No one kidnapped me or walked me up. What is happening is not real at all. The head pierced a sharp pain, I screamed, flexing in half and grabbed the face. Chirp migraine, why doesn't she pass in any way? Anyway, I need to contact someone, otherwise I will go crazy. What happens and what is this place, I will find out later. I sat at the computer and pressed the space to reset the sleep mode. Nothing happened, I put a blank several times, I realized that the computer was not included. Fixed to the system unit, pressed the power button, nothing again. My heart was swamped, I began to shake me, I hit the table with a swing with a fist. What's happening, what should I do, I cried, bolding in the pillow. I do not know how much time has passed, but it seems I have flushed everything that could. And I just sat, swinging from side to side, as absolutely and finally sacrificed. I thought everything was for what happened to me? How did I find yourself in this? Nowhere? The headache was still strong, the face was burning, you need to go wash, maybe it will be easier. There was no water, but under the sink there was always a pair of bottles in case of shutdown. I got up and headed for the bathroom. The bathroom burned the light. Weird, did I turn it on? I went, took a bottle and began to violently pour water on my head over the sink. I wanted to cool my face, cool my head, and cool the thoughts and feelings of this water. I looked at myself in the mirror, pale, looked, I seemed to be here for a month, and not one day. Something attracted my attention in the reflection of the mirror behind my back. Something is wrong. I turned around, this is a curtain, she was torn off the loops and covered the bath. There was something under it, I slowly stretched my hand, I did not want to do this, I did not want to know that under the curtain. My stomach squeezed to the throat, I was caught by a mirroring cold when I drove it. Under the curtain there was a body, my dead body, my exact copy was lying on the bottom of the bath in an unnatural pose, whitening the curtain arm. Under the head, a large puddle of blood spread, the eyes were open, horror was red in them. That endlessly long moment that I fainted, I remembered everything. It was evening, I was taking a shower. Recently I came from the party, and I was drunk, but not so much so as not to hear how the bathroom door slammed behind his back. I remember the dark silhouette, the faces are not visible due to the curtain. He did not try to remove her, came up and pushed me, I grabbed her, and with her flew to the bottom of the bath. He wrapped my throat with his hands and began to beat his head about the cast iron bottom. The last thought was, what has recently? Recently I was dead, then there was only darkness and silence. Henry woke up from some quiet, but incessant sound. Listening, he understood, it was sobbing. He got up, threw a robe and went to the kitchen, it was from there that sounds came. His wife was sitting at the table, leaning over the laptop and climbly crying. Did you go there again? He asked. I, I just, sorry, she burst into a voice. What for? We discussed this hundred times. You created a new page in order to stop it. Why do you go to the old account again? Today it came again, every day still, for three years already, every God's day, at the same time. Exactly at 6.40 alone in the same thistle phrase. Who needs it? Every morning it is to write from her pages? What for? In not, it is not necessary to do manually. How to send spam? I am sure that some bastards hacked her page and did something that it goes yourself every day. I am sure there is something like a program that does it. Surely, because spam is not manually sent. But who needs it? Henry approached a knot and looked through her shoulder to the computer. On the monitor, the page of dialogues with her girlfriend, killed three years ago. He glanced on these rows, repeated every day at 6. 40. Well, how are you alive? What freak would you need to spend time on something similar? Listen, maybe it's her former? Maybe he was not enough for her death? Maybe he just wants to bring you to the handle? After all, they then broke up. You told her that he changed her. He sits in the colony of strictly regime. He was given a hard time by a foreigner especially hard, I spoke. He has no access to the network. Well, maybe he has someone on the will, who helps him, is there any creatures on earth? In any case, you should not go here. Just forget about it, 
close and never open. She no longer returns. She is dead. You so saw the funeral. Yes, you were right. Sorry. Perhaps, I will go to make breakfast. Inat closed the laptop and went to prepare the scrambled eggs and coffee. Henry still looked thoughtfully for a laptop for some time, after which she approached his wife and hugged her firmly. I'm with you, and I love you. Everything will work out. Just close this page of your life, he said and kissed her in her neck. Today, since the very morning, I was tormented by a monstrous migraine, which was rather unexpected, because she usually came closer to the evening, gradually enhanced and forcing me, like a vampire, hide in the dark. Although, perhaps, it somehow triggered the number of drunk me yesterday. For me, as for many ordinary office rats, no Friday has long done without a bottle of something strong. So, having posted for ages, with longing recalling times when, Regardless of the number of drinks, in the morning I felt excellent, except that I wanted to drink, I spread two tablets of aspirin in a glass and looked around with him without piling. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel.